What's it say? So today, oh wait, eh. <laughs> you cannot laugh. <laughs> eh. <laughs> Stop laughing. Hi, welcome back to Shana Sweets and Savory Treats. I'm Shana. And I'm Andrew. And today we wanted to add some extra sweetness into everyone's lives because we know, especially with all these protests going on, and just the inherent racism that is ingrained in our society. It's really difficult for a lot of people. So we want all of our viewers to know that we stand with the protesters. So today we are going to make hamantashen. This is our favorite recipe so ever. So good. We usually make this for Purim only, which is a Jewish holiday. But instead, it's our favorite recipe. So we're we want to make it, it now. We, we're in so the we're not going to make as much as we usually do. We usually make like... Quick. Three or four times as much as this recipe, <laughs> but we don't want as many right now. I mean, this might be the first time I've ever just made one, but I think I haven't <laughs> doubled the recipe. <laughs> so, we're going to go through the ingredients, and it's really not that difficult. No, it's only like five, six ingredients. So, we have some flour, just regular, all-purpose. Crisco, which is like vegetable shortening. Some sugar. Some eggs. We no. actually got a double yolk today. If you can see, there's two yolks. No spots, of course. And then we have some almond extract mixed with a secret ingredient. We can't tell you that because then that'd just be giving away the best recipe ever. But you can try to figure it out. If we get... 500 likes, 500 likes. Then we'll, we'll say we'll what tell it is. It is. And then this is also, well, this is the Chris Coach, just so you can see what it looks like. These are the films we're going to be using. And these are left over from form. So we have just kind of a hodgepodge of... That was in March. Apricot, strawberry, and some raspberry. Yeah. And then we're also making, we had some peaches that were going old, so we're making some peach jam in the back over here to put in too. Because with these hum and hush and they're shaped in a triangle, and you put the little filling on the inside. So let's get started on the delicious Perfect. dough. First thing we need to do is add in our sugar and our eggs. Will you add the eggs, please? Oh, yes, this is the bowl that we always use. You can see it has, oh, what is that? It has a dent in here. Sorry. Many marks. So we're just whisking it together. Do you want to whisk a little? Sure. Just so it gets combined. Just the eggs and the sugar. Mmm. -hmm. Now we're going to add in our Crisco. I like to try and add it. You can start whisking. Try and add it in little you increments. See. It takes a little of a force to uh, get the Crisco worked in. Yeah. I'm tired now. That was my exercise this is for the week. Right, red. Oh my <laughs> god. So look at this. Delicious. And you can see how it turned a nice pale yellow, which is just what you're looking for. So now we're going to add in our almond and secret mixture. Why don't you smell it? How does it smell? Mm. It smells slightly like coffee. Mm. But not exactly. I don't know. Hmm. It's but only about one good. tablespoon of the total of those two. It's gonna give that a good stir. So, we're gonna add in the flour. And this recipe is from our grandma's Aunt Yeti. I promise you, there is not a better hamantaschen recipe so anywhere good. in the world. And you can even use it without the jelly if you just wanna make like sugar cookies because this is the best part. So I'm switching to a spatula here just because when you add in all this flour, it's kind of harder to whisk. Yeah. Gets Do you want to mix? Up. Sure. So just add it in and mix it in. As much as I hate sour cream, let me tell you, I love almond extract. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited to taste it. <laughs> add in the rest of the flour. And you might have to add a little bit more. We always add more than what the recipe says. And you can also start working it in with your hands if you want. And it looks delicious. Let's show them. Just like a nice, delicious dough. So here's our dough. So small, not as much this as we is, usually make. It's like usually <laughs> what we go through in 30 minutes. Oh, so basically, our dough, believe it or not, I don't think it needs more flour, truth be told. It doesn't look like it does for that. So, what we're going to do is if you have wax paper, you could use that. I think parchment would work, plastic wrap. Basically, just put it in something so it can sit in the fridge to chill. The longer it chills, the better it's going to be, mm -hmm. and the easier it is to roll it out, which we'll exactly. do. Exactly. And a little, so here it is. I'm going to try to emerge and blend <laughs> my uh, little peach jam that I made, which is just water, sugar, and whatever fruit you have, honestly, and you put it on the stove to simmer. 
That's just not cool. Um, it smells really good contrary to my face because of the sound. Um, it looks kind of like baby food. And we just have a small amount, so we'll put it on a few of them when we're ready. And you can use this with any fruit that you have lying around the house because, I mean, we all know that we're probably getting some food and you don't really know what to do with some of your leftovers. So it's a good way to kind of use them up. Hi, we're back. We've had it cooling for a while in the fridge. We flowered our work surface and now we're ready to go. So we have a cup here that we also just kind of dipped in our flour bowl just to get it ready. And the whole point is you want a cup that has, I'll start this is my hand out. as comparison. You want the size of the circle for the cutter to be rather large. But not too big. So we're just gonna roll it out until it gets to nice thickness and we'll show you what it looks like when it's there. All right, so we've rolled it out. Do you wanna show them how thick it is, the camera person? It's pretty thin. It's pretty thin. So we have our oven preheating to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I have our baking sheet prepared. I use a little bit of spray. You could butter it, you could do parchment paper, whatever you want. So we have a pretty thin, we'll show you once we actually cut them. And we're gonna use the cup, press and give a little twist mm -hmm. to make these circles and try to get them as close together as much as you can out of the dough. All right, so we got those many on there. And we took all the extra pieces from the leftovers from the cutouts and we're re-rolling them so that we can make more. So we're using a spatula to help us scrape them off as we will demonstrate. So. And also you don't have to worry about them being super close on this pan right now because we're gonna fold them up. So they're fine if it's crowding the pan as of right now. Okay, so now we're going to take our jellies, I have strawberry jelly, and just spoon a little onto your hamantashen. This is our peach jelly that I made earlier. And I'm gonna show you all how to fold it, fold it up. I'm not the best, but basically you want to- That's an understatement. Take the corners and just pinch them oh, up. Oh, that's a pretty good one that's for you. That's a good one. Thank you. And just make sure they're nice and pinched close so none of that jelly explodes. And one of the things that you really want to watch out for is you really will want to probably overfill them. Don't put too much in. You're going to want to put more than you actually should. Because then what they're going to do is in the oven they'll explode. So we are folding the rest of them up and we fold them in the triangle to represent the hat of Haman. Bad. An evil person. And... So that's why they're triangles like this. Huh? So strawberry, apricot, raspberry, peach. Everybody likes their own. So if you want to be nice to everybody, ask them beforehand when it's before you make all strawberry shame. I don't like strawberries actually, but in Hamantashen they're the only type that I like. Can you use chocolate? You could use you chocolate. Could. I recommend uh, maybe putting something else with it so it's yeah. liquidy. Like, don't like put Nutella chips. might be good, I've yeah. heard. Just don't put like chocolate chips in there because they'll dry and it'll be a really dry cookie when you're done. Yeah. So these are beautiful home impression before they go in the oven. We had a little extra dough, so we make some cookies. Parts. And one that we're gonna try out to see if it works out. So we're gonna put them in the oven. Yep, and how long? 10 minutes, start at that, and then just kind of keep on going until they're baked. We'll tell you once we pull them out how long it exactly takes us, but I would start at around 10 minutes. Perfect. And now we get to eat the extra dough. Mm -hmm. Hi, welcome back. Hi. I'm here with my dad. If you don't remember him, he was from the cheesecake video. I'll put a link into the, in the description to that video if you all want to watch. I'm here for the taste testing. Because Andrew's busy. Annoying. But anyways. <laughs> so, these just came out of the oven. They were in for 14 minutes. And look at how great those are. So it's, you have to let them cool. I know from many years of experience. Every year I think, oh, I'm a year older, I can eat them a minute sooner, but you really need to let them wait. You will burn cool. your tongue. So Ouch. that's why we're just having the one without the jelly because it's a little bit less cooler. So let's give it a taste. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. I think I'm going in for the beer. Mmm. Don't do it. Here comes Andrew. Can I try? Oh, they're so good. Don't. I hope we brought some sweet into your day. Make sure you stay tuned for after this portion. I'm going to have a little note at the end, so make sure you read that. 
And we're yeah. gonna try the actual honey crush. I'm just so good at this. This is a strawberry. Look at that oh. gooeyness. Mm. So, I'm it. here, oh, I was trying to cut here. It's hot, it's so hot. <laughs> it's hot, don't <laughs> eat it. Don't eat it. It's a little warm. Don't eat it. I told you every year. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs>